In this video, we're going to look at how endovascular stroke treatment works. In the most common type of stroke, called an ischemic stroke, a blood clot has blocked an artery inside the brain. When we're treating a patient with acute ischemic stroke, the goal of therapy is to open this artery to remove the blood clot, which can be done either by giving a drug called TPA intravenously, which circulates through the arterial system and dissolves the blood clot, or by means of a mechanical treatment called endovascular stroke treatment, where we deploy a device to literally pull the clot out of the artery inside the brain. Let's see how the device works. In this illustration, we'll see the solitaire device in action. This is one of the latest generation of endovascular stroke treatment devices, a type of retrievable stent. In the first step of the procedure, a thin wire called a microwire is advanced up the arterial tree across the clot. This wire is used to advance a microcatheter, which is a long, thin plastic tube, also across the clot. The wire is then withdrawn, leaving the catheter in place, and the catheter is used to slowly advance the stroke treatment device into place. With the treatment device across the clot, the catheter is withdrawn, exposing the retrievable stent and allowing it to enmesh the clot. More proximally in the arterial system, a guide catheter is used to inflate a balloon that blocks flow temporarily, and then the device is slowly withdrawn, pulling the clot out in the retrievable stent. Now that we have a basic idea of how the procedure works, let's see it in action in a real case. In this case, a woman develops sudden onset of right-sided paralysis and an inability to speak or understand language. She was diagnosed with an acute ischemic stroke and she was given the drug TPA intravenously. Unfortunately, in her case, the drug failed to dissolve the clot, blocking her brain artery, so she proceeded to endovascular stroke treatment as rescue therapy. So here is her diagnostic angiogram. This is a, an x-ray movie. You can see the skull, the eyes here. The x-rays are going front to back, and now we're injecting dye, a contrast dye, into the arterial system on the left side, which is on, shown on the right side of the screen. There's a uh, pacification or contrast flowing into the arteries of the, the brain, as well as the arteries of the scalp on the outside. Now, if you see, there's sluggish filling here of the brain arteries, and only very slowly do we see filling of the arteries inside the brain, and right at that point, we zoom in here, we see that there is a cutoff. There's a point at which there's very little flow beyond that spot. And that's because a blood clot has been lodged at that point inside the brain, at the top of this artery called the internal carotid artery. So the interventional neuroradiologist deployed the endovascular stroke treatment device, the retrievable stent, and pulled the clot out of the patient's brain artery. Here's what the stent, as well as the blood clot, look like outside of the patient's body. So let's go over what we're looking at here. Here's the microcatheter. Here is the stent, the retrievable stent. And here's the blood clot that was blocking this patient's brain artery. So here's how the angiogram looked immediately after the procedure. You see contrast flowing into the arteries, into the carotid artery, the carotid terminus here, that T-shaped configuration into the middle cerebral artery that supplies uh, much of the left hemisphere of this patient's brain and the anterior cerebral artery here. So both of these uh, branches were not seen because there was a cutoff because of the blood clot and now we see normal restoration of blood flow into this patient's uh, left hemisphere. If we zoom in we see the top of the carotid, this T configuration, and we see that the blood flow is normal because the clot has been pulled out from that location where it had blocked the top of the carotid. And as a result of this treatment, the patient was nearly back to normal by the next day. 